Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you how to fix the RS80 naming information cannot be located issue on Windows 11 in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to restart the TCP IP Net BIOS helper service. To do this press the Windows button then type in services and select it as an application from the search results. Now in here scroll way down until you locate the TCP IP Net BIOS service and then double click on it to open its properties window. Now navigate to the startup type drop down menu and select the automatic option then make sure to click on the start button if the service is stopped and then click on apply and ok to save the changes. Now you can just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to restart the net logon service. To do this press the windows button then simply type services and select it as an application from the search results. Now in here locate net logon as a service then double click on it to open up its properties window. Now once again in here next to startup type click on the drop down menu and select the automatic option and afterwards click on the start button to start the service and afterwards click on apply and ok to save the changes. Restart your computer and then you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on another useful solution is to reset the network settings. To do this press the windows button then select the settings icon afterwards click on network and internet on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the advanced network settings category and just click on it. Now in here scroll way down until you find the network reset option under more settings and click on it and the last thing you have to do is click on the reset now button which will reset your network. This will remove and then reinstall all your network adapters and set other networking components back to the original set. Settings. You can then check if the problem still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to edit the registry in registry editor. To do this press the windows button then simply type reg edit and select registry editor from the search results. Now in here what you have to do is navigate to the following path. H key local machine, then expand system, afterwards open up current control set, then expand services, Afterwards scroll way down until you find the net logon folder and simply open it up and afterwards expand parameters. Now in here on the right pane you have to locate the sysvol ready D word and if you don't have it right click on an empty space on the right side and then select the D word value and name it sysvol ready. So what you have to do in here is double click on this one and in the value data instead of 0 make sure to input 1 and then press on OK to save the changes. Now you can restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? If this video helped you make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.